Hi everyone, this is Sun Sun Mushi, and this is the weekly energy reading for all 12 horoscope signs for the week of July 1st through the 7th. So congratulations everybody, we made it to the end of June and the beginning of July. Uh, the new moon is actually on July 2nd, uh, my time, and so for some of you that's on the 3rd, I'm pretty sure. But, yeah, I was going to go ahead and set up all the 12 different piles before getting started with the video. But then I decided that I was just going to hit record and let you guys know to just go to the timestamps in the description box below to choose your horoscope messages. Um, you can listen to one of them for, like, your sun sign. You can listen to your moon and rising sign if you know those. Um, you can listen to a sign that you're just drawn to listen to. Whatever you want to do. Um, and for those of you who are new, welcome. How I usually do this is I have the 12 different horoscopes listed here. And I basically shuffle it up, put them on each of the 12 different readings. Um, and then I give the reading without knowing which horoscope it is. But I tap into the energy nonetheless. And uh, yeah, and I like doing that because it's just that I know like all the different signs like you know like when I'm like oh Aquarius it makes me think of like my friend Christine <laughs> and my friend Maria like you know I, I like think of certain situations and people and so it's really nice to do their readings um, without knowing to the best of my abilities their the energy just so I can think of more um, general ways in which it can resonate versus um, in the ways that I know it to resonate if that makes sense um, also, I think if I ever chose to do readings where I'm like, oh, this is the Pisces reading, and this is the Taurus reading, and this is, you know, and so forth, like, that I would still, you know, I've done that before, and it goes fine, but again, it's like, I, I'm just thinking so much about the situations, because it comes up so strongly, and I, it like, I can see it so clearly, how it's resonating with people that I know in my life, but I know that it's, like, meant to resonate with everyone, so, yeah. What we're going to be doing for this weekly energy reading, we're going to be looking at um, the general energy that's coming in. It's not this one. It's going to be this deck. Um, and so this could include anything that might be easy or challenging, uh, or rather than easy, um, fluid and, and feels like really enjoyable or like challenging and resistant, you know. And then these green cards are going to be intended for what positive energy is coming in throughout the week, beginning, middle, and end. Um, so yeah. And that's all we're gonna do for this weekly energy reading. It's probably gonna be shorter, I hope, than, than what I usually do. I just got a new deck from my friend Angela. She gifted it to me. Uh, it's called the Cosmos Oracle and the Cosmos Tarot deck. It's like two decks in one. It's really, really cool. Are you the judge? I don't know the answer. Oh yeah, so um, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the readings. I'll see you uh, at whichever one you click on. Um, and the rest of this video will just be me setting this up and I guess talking about my other services, so that if any of you are interested in getting a personal reading from me, um that I, uh, you know, give you guys that plug-in, <laughs> or whatever it's called that, I don't know, hookup is, what's called, connect, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to think, but basically, any of you who want a reading, like, yes, please come get a reading from me, I have open availability at this time, I'm doing a summer sale, so everything is $10 off, um, I'm doing timed readings, so I'm doing 15 minute, 30, 45 minute, and an hour long recorded readings. Um, and basically you can set it up in whatever way you want. You can ask for specific stuff, you can share your situation with me. Um, you can just ask a number of questions. So like in a 30 minute reading, if you ask like 10 questions, I'll spend about 3 minutes on each question, totaling to 30 minutes. If you ask like 5 questions, I'd spend about six minutes on each question, so yeah, so that's kind of how that works, and you don't have to ask questions either, you can just 
ask for, um, well, I guess it'd be hard to, yeah, if you just, like, share your situation and you're, like, you don't have questions, but, like, would like a reading on the situation because it's, like, troubling you, then I would come up with a reading to help with that in some sort of way. Obviously, as, like, emotional support and stuff. Um... But yeah, you guys can check that information in my About Me section on the YouTube channel. Or I may as well let you guys know. I'm doing 15-minute readings for $11 right now. 30-minute readings are $23. 45-minute readings, I believe, are $34. Yeah, and an hour-long readings are $45. So everything's on sale. Those sound like affordable prices for any of you listening. Definitely check the description on information. You can email me at sunsamushi at gmail.com or leave a comment and I can try to reach out to you and help get that all set up. But yeah, I'm about to get started with the readings. So thank you all for listening to those messages if you were. And I will see you all in in these weekly readings that I'm about to do. All right, reading number one. So let's look into the energy coming in this week, just like in general. So what what is the what is your energy at the beginning of the week? Ooh, we get the eight of fire. I'm getting you are cutting ties. You're cutting energetic ties with things that don't serve you anymore, um, with with mindsets and with uh, beliefs that that hold you back. So you're cutting away limiting beliefs, and it's giving you like this, like ever flowing energy that's gonna help you find your way. It's gonna help you find what path you want to take. Mm. It's like you're worried that by doing this, it cuts you of your potential. Like cutting ties with situations or having to um, let go of certain ways of thinking or beliefs about yourself or this world. You're worried doing that is going to limit you in some way. That might resonate for some of you that you're worried about that. Um, and then if you are worried about that, the clear message is that it's definitely not. It's just like... Just, you know, like, it's like you're worried if you cut off this hair, that your hair is not going to grow more. Um, or that if it doesn't grow back, that you are going to need it, but you you don't. Um, it's actually quite freeing. Um, I cut my hair a lot, and it's a very freeing experience to do so. Um, so, some of you, this might be a more aesthetic thing. You might be thinking about trying, like, a different look or something. And I'm just getting like, this is the time to make that change. Like new month, new you, you know, type of thing. And so the words that come with this are dedication, oath, and symbol. If you can read those down there. So yeah, it's whatever you're planning to do in the world right now, like whatever energy you're choosing to, to take action on at this time, at the beginning of the week and throughout this week, it's going to be a symbol of your commitment to your path to yourself of self-love and and self sustaining like being there for yourself and having everything you know that you deserve yeah middle of the week we get the king of cups wow we get a huge balancing energy here with fire and water the sun. and this says seeing the bigger picture and gaining perspective. I love this card. I was talking to my younger brother about this card, about like how I think he, he would love it. He was like, wow, this is a cool card. Um, so I'm getting like, yeah, a whole, finding, finding stability in your situation, finding balance within your own energy, your own masculine, feminine energy, finding emotional stability. You have like a whole new grasp on your emotions than before. This could even be an earth reading that I'm doing. You know, I'm not sure, but obviously you guys who clicked on the timestamps 
know what what reading this is but yeah this could be a, an earthly reading this this is kind of going a variety of ways but let's see yeah it seems taking that action at the beginning of the week whatever you did or whatever shifting occurred in the beginning of the week whatever fast energy sort of happened um by the middle of the week it's helping you gain perspective you're seeing your world shift you are you're seeing the changes even if it's a little bit even if it's like small shifts you're like wow the small shifts really make a difference it's like once you have an awareness of something um it's difficult to lose that awareness so to speak at the end of the week your energy wow we get neptune which is what rules Pisces, so we get water energy at the end. That overcoming of emotions seems to bring you some sort of foresight or intuition and awareness. I'm just reading the cards down here. Neptune, you know, rules Pisces, and so Pisces energy is like you're able to tap into your emotional energy and trust it as wisdom as the king of cups so whatever shifting you chose to do at the beginning of this week it grants you more psychic abilities pretty much you'll be able to see more things coming you'll have higher awareness with more awareness you'll have a better understanding of how situations happen and when you do you'll see your role in how they happen and you'll see other people's roles in how they happen. So in other words, you'll be seeing the bigger picture. Because when you can see this, you can see, um, you'll have a better understanding. Like, if you can see through your awareness that you did the best you could, but the, like a situation that happened was like stressful and it was due to other people's lack of awareness, that will teach you that you deserve a better situation. You deserve more awareness, basically in your life and it'll help validate the way you feel so very very nice let's look at some positive energies coming in those are obviously really good but these are particularly what is coming in due to these shifts at the time so due to the eight of fire energy at the beginning of the week what comes in from that is a seven of pentacles something coming in in the physical world this is a shifting this isn't just like feeling better internally this is like obtaining actual results externally too. It matches with your inner world. So spirit just wants to give you that confirmation. Um, and it won't come in right away with this shifting. There's like a lag effect to manifestation. So you'll notice the physical world shift with you, um, but you'll but the actual, I guess, rewards, not that we're doing this for just rewards or whatever, or praise or whatever, but like you will actually receive physical abundance and physical results. It'll just be further down the line. In the middle of the week, associated with this strong um, stability with your emotions and this perspective you're gaining, what comes in from that energy? Wow, we get the Ace of Pentacles now, again, with that Earth energy, something physical you might notice a strengthening of your own health yeah your own physical body your own capabilities of movement of traveling of exercising of being active um, of feeling present in your own body of being in your own body yeah and at the end of the week what kind of positive energy comes in with neptune eight of wands wow that's so interesting because seven of pentacles plus ace of pentacles seven plus one equals eight and what's very interesting is this is the eight of wands and then at the end of the week we get the eight of wands showing as what is coming in so spirit is kind of saying like at the end of the week you'll be able to see how the beginning of the week's energy and doing that shifted and how that brought you these physical results so at the end of the week You'll have the awareness to understand that whatever you're waiting for or believing in is coming. At the end of the week, you have the awareness to, to trust that that's actually still happening and that that is continuing to come in. So, very interesting reading. This is for the horoscope sign of Aries. 
So have a wonderful week, Aries. I hope that resonates with you. Lots of love and light, and I will talk to you all in another video. Peace out. All right, reading number two. So, we are gonna look into it. We're gonna be looking into the energies throughout the week and then what comes in throughout the week due to those energies. So this is like your energy and then this is gonna be like what that is, how what that's helping you manifest basically. So your energy at the beginning of the week Ooh, we get the Three of Cups, connectivity, appreciation, and individuality. So at the beginning of the week, I'm just getting you're all staying true to yourself. You're shining your, like, rainbow flag. You know, you're like, this is me. I'm a unicorn. I'm unique. I stand out. But you also have a tribe. You've got a group of unicorns, you know, a little trio perhaps for some of you. Uh, but basically appreciation you're in a state of gratitude you're really happy to be where you are you're happy to be yourself and you're happy to be around whoever it is that's supporting you and makes you feel like together and that like yeah and that you can work together but also work on your own it's like you and whoever is in your life that this is resonating with that you feel like you've got a small like a group of friends or family members that you can maybe you like do a workout schedule together it's like you may have very different life goals at this time but you're connected by some sort of commonality of like wanting to have a good time and share the love and stuff like that so what that brings in wow we get this caged heart that brings in um helping you free your heart your heart actually may feel restricted um at times or has felt restricted in the past, and this new energy is freeing your heart from that. You may have felt held back in some reason and you weren't able to tell why, um, and then like this friend group or this energy that you're in with Three of Cups is allowing you to feel what you've truly been feeling and it lets your heart really shine and heal and break free from that cage that has been holding your heart back. So it's like, and I'm also getting this, helping you channel your heart chakra. You're tapping into your heart chakra. You're questioning, why does it feel um, heavy? Why aren't you speaking up about your pain more if you're in any sort of pain or if you don't feel you're in pain, why do you feel stressed or out of your body, if, it, if that resonates for any of you? Maybe lately you've been feeling a little bit like trying to be present, but then you just notice you don't have the energy, you feel exhausted or drained. This is like what the Three of Cups is showing you. It's showing you why you've been feeling drained. It's teaching you what restrictions you've been placing on your heart or what restrictions had been put onto your heart, what kind of conditioning put your heart in a cage in the first place. And then that in turn gives you the awareness and that awareness teaches you how to heal it and, and release those blockages. Nice. So in the middle of the week, what your energy is in, we get seven Uranus. This is passion, indulgence, and sexuality. So yeah, you're very much in your own individual energy we get three and seven. This is the number seven up here. Um, those are synchronistic numbers for me. But yeah, this is saying your individuality, you're being very sensual and maybe sexual with yourself and in, uh, intimate with yourself. And so, yeah, you're trusting your desires. You're, you're indulging on them and you're cutting yourself some slack. You're giving yourself a break and allowing yourself to open up to yourself and to re and trying to remain open like that around your loved ones. So what this kind of energy, what Uranus is energy, yeah, so you guys might wanna look into the planet of Uranus. If you guys know your astrology chart, you can look into what sign um, Uranus was in, if it was like in uh, Pisces or Aries or whatever it is, you know, 
and you can search into that. But uh, this is bringing in, wow, five of wands. So it's interesting, we are getting challenging energies. This is the devil's energy, and then we, we got the challenging times card, the five of wands. But what's interesting is the green cards are indicating positive changes coming into your life. So to me, this is saying like, this is helping you through the challenging times. Your energy may be con uh, conflicted with what you want to be doing at this time um, in terms of how you want to move forward. And so I'm seeing the what's helping you with this. Like your energy is helping you through these difficult times, basically. Learning to have fun and to relax and not to stress or feel guilty or anything like that through these hardships is what is going to help you. This is an energy that is just shifting. If it was about you needing to do something in particular, we probably would have gotten something more like the Four of Cups. But we get the Five of Wands, which is just saying you're conflicted and your energy is actually all over the place. And you're just needing to learn how to channel it into yourself. So that is what's coming in. You're learning how to um, move forward and feel good about yourself. At the end of the week, your energy, we get... That is so interesting. We get the four of earth. I was just mentioning fours. Four, and four of pentacles is the other one about taking action. And it seems like you officially, you do that on your own time. You know, you don't need to rush it. And throughout this week, you get there. And this says dogma, conviction, and devotion. So it looks like you've got some sort of devotion. You, you, you stay true to some sort of path. And... You also ease up on it. You're, you're open to um, new learnings at the end of the week and throughout your journey in general. So this energy is helping you open up so you can figure out what new way is going to work for you. And that energy brings in, wow, we get a conclusion here. It, it brings in what you've been starting with, the Three of Cups. It brings in more love for yourself. This is the Three of Cups again. So that's just a confirmation for any of you wondering like, oh, am I supposed to do something different from the beginning and middle of the week? Spirit is saying, no, your energy, who you are, it's beautiful and you are literally enough. You don't have to do anything different to, to make it through this situation. And if you do, it'll come up on its own time. But as you can see at the end of the week, yeah, this does indicate that you're sticking true to your path and as well as applying new learnings. But look at what's coming in, more of yourself, more of what you've already been in the energy of from the beginning of this week. So that's really good. Nice. So this is for the horoscope sign of Pisces. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. I hope that resonates with you guys listening. Lots of love and light. Um, you guys might be interested in listening to reading one Aries just for that balance of water and fire. Um, that's interesting because my sun sign is Pisces, my moon sign is Aries, which is reading number one. Um, but I just mentioned that because Neptune came up for reading one and Neptune rules Pisces. So yes, that might, that might be a reading for some of you out there. Lots of love and light, everybody. Peace out. Uh-oh, where did... Um... on your plane all right reading number three so we're going to be looking into the energy that you are in at the beginning middle and end of the week as well as the energy that is positive shifting like positive energy that that helps you through or helps you manifest throughout those times so at the beginning of the week your energy is in the two of cups wow it says exchange rhythm and unification so you at the beginning of the week are in union with yourself your uh physical body and your astral body are having a healthy rhythm a, a healthy flow you're in union with your two halves this could be your masculine feminine energy you can be in union with a partner for any of you who are in a connection or in harmony with connections in your life where you feel very in sync whenever you have one-on-one -on -one hangout times with people. 
So yeah, you're in a very balanced place at the beginning of the week. And if not, you are, that's your goal and you've been trying to get that goal. And this is about finding emotional balance with yourself. Balancing out your feelings, balancing out physical action and spiritual magical action. So you're finding that harmony. And when you have that balance, to me, that is like a, a relationship of love. So very nice. It's a beautiful rhythm and flow to be in. It's very high vibration. So let's see what positive energy or manifestation this brings in. We get the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is a card of being alone, being separated from a connection. So Spirit is saying you are contacting and connecting with someone on an emotional level, on a spiritual plane. You're actually in union with somebody, but in the physical world, you may be separated from this person. Some of you, you're with someone, but they had to like go on a business trip or something. Others of you, you haven't met this person yet, or you have, but you're in some sort of separation for whatever reason. But on an emotional level, you have done a lot of work on loving yourself, and you are coming into union with yourself, and that is going to bring in union with a person, truly. Like, this is like, you know, this is coming in sooner than you would expect. Um, you know, soon could still mean like five weeks, it could still mean a year, you know? And those are obviously two different big gaps, but like the point is that like you've been doing a lot of work on yourself. You know you've been here for a long time. So it's time you continue to believe in yourself and believe that you do deserve love to come in. Um, and not in the sense that it has to do anything for you or that you rely on it to love yourself, but that you've worked on yourself and that working on yourself deserves a reward. <laughs> Um, and the reward could be just like the journey itself too, of course. And so naturally that includes romance for any of you who are taking this as a romantic reading. This could be talking about a job, this could be talking about friendships, meeting other connections, but this seems to be like, as you fill up within yourself, you fill your own cup and stuff, you do bridge the gap of whatever you're trying to manifest in the physical world. So at the middle of the week, your energy, we get three. This is Earth. This is the three of pentacles or just the number three of the planet, Earth. And it says home, healing, and protection. And notice how we have like a masculine and feminine energy sort of being represented here. So that to me is saying like you are safe to explore your masculine and feminine energies in this reality and that you're safe and, and you're home with those two aspects within yourself. The love of your life that you may be looking for is none other than yourself and that's the energy you are in. You're playing around with the two energies within yourself. You're ha you're going on like play dates with yourself, you know, you're, you're going out on like adventures or like romantic like experiences with yourself you're treating yourself to roses or to dinner you know you're having a conversation with yourself because yeah everything is within you so I'm just seeing like you're doing a lot of healing within the own within your home you're creating a healing space within your home and learning how to keep up with day-to-day -day life in your own environment so this helps you manifest or helps you through while wow, we get another five we get the five pentacles and now we get number five the hierophant learning lessons and teaching and staying true to your path this is manifesting life lessons experience this is manifesting um you knowing what you're talking about and being able to share wisdom with a younger generation with those around you um this is manifesting home. This is manifesting everything you're looking for and communication with, with a particular person if you feel in separation from some sort of person, whether you guys resonate with soul flame, uh, sorry, twin flame or soulmate, um, anything of that nature. 
uh, like some sort of deep soul connection, you know? This looks like you're manifesting, um, connecting with that person more, whether it be just on a spiritual level, but I'm getting both a spiritual level and a physical level over time. At the end of the week, your energy is the Eight of Cups. To me, this is indicating that by working on your own self and your own energy within the home, this helps you move on and step away from things that don't serve you anymore. Some of you, there might be some ups and downs where you're feeling a little insecure at the end of the week. That might just be the energy you're in. Um, but it comes from a place of like, you understand now that there were energies out there that were judging you perhaps or making you feel a certain way and you're choosing to step away from those energies. You're like, I don't need to step, I don't need to associate with energy that's going to judge me or make me feel bad about my actions, you know? So you're choosing not to engage as much in those kinds of energies, in those situations. And what that brings you is healing once again and freeing yourself more from any sort of chains that hold you back so very interesting major shifting going on this week this is very much happening on a spiritual plane so if not much changes in your physical world if you're going through a difficult time in the physical re situ sorry if you're going through a difficult situation at this time and you're not seeing any shifting happening with that situation trust throughout this week that you're getting somewhere and it might just be a little bit further down the line that the situation improves more but I think you're going to be seeing it improving with the teach card and the heal card for sure it just might not be a hundred percent resolved yet you might just need to keep going so this is for the horoscope sign of Gemini I, I feel like that makes a lot of sense especially about someone who I know as a Gemini He's in the Air Force, so like time is really, really slow. <laughs> Things really take time. <laughs> He's kind of got no choice. <laughs> but yeah, I hope that resonates for you guys listening. Lots of love and light, everybody. And I'll talk to you all later. Peace out. Okay, reading number four. So, the energy throughout the week is this top row, and then the energy that is coming in positively is this bottom row. So your energy at the beginning of the week is Virgo, the Empress. Wow, you're very much taking care of yourself, and you're like, you're like organizing your house. You're getting your like living situation set up, figured out. You're like, or you've got a project, and you're putting your like, motherly energy into it you're like ooh, i'm gonna put decorations here here and there and oh i'm gonna put chairs here and oh i'm gonna have this event and like or if you're like planning a wedding as an example you're like okay Susie and sally and georgina are gonna be on table a and like i don't know zoe and joe and you know are in table b you know so it's like you're just like in this excited motherly vibe. It says curiosity, progress, perfection, beauty, and order. You know, just kind of like look at that card, you know, and that's kind of like, you can kind of just like see how I was like, <laughs> you know, the energy, this, this like person like is so excited and they're like setting stuff up and it's like for success and growth, you know, they're like setting up plants, they're setting up herbs, healthy food, healthy ideas. Maybe creating an arts and crafts class for the kids, you know? A very fun motherly vibe. This could be setting everything up just for yourself, for if guests ever come to visit, you, things like that. You might be going on a date and so you're like treating it very seriously and you're very excited and you're like, you know, in that very playful motherly but also um, childly energy, inner child energy, yeah.
they're both sort of similar. The mother and child energy can be very playful and fun and, and loving. And it comes where it, where it's the Empress's energy is where it's the more motherly vibe, where it's very nurturing too. So that's your energy. And what that brings you is the hanged man's energy. This grants you more perspectives. So you're doing this to gain a new perspective. You're like, you know, if I, instead of feeling bad about stuff I can't do, I'm going to continue to work on what I can do. So you're, you're keeping up with the progress. Honestly, I would feel this is the Pisces reading if I hadn't already done Pisces. So I'm wondering who this is, like what, what horoscope sign this is for. Obviously you guys know. Um, this could be an earth energy just because I said Virgo. But yeah, it's like you're seeing how much you can make changes in your own home environment. So you're granting a new perspective on things. This could be Taurus as well. I'm just gonna stop guessing now. So the, <laughs> at the middle of the week, your energy ah, is wormhole. It says um, serendipity, shortcut, and secret link. So this is like, you're doing this for yourself and you also have love inspiring you. you you're a very romantic person. So in the middle of the week, you're in a very lovey-dovey state still. So you're in a high vibration of love throughout this week. And this is like something you might notice is more nights where you're like listening to music, thinking about someone special. You might be having a very sensual, physical experience with yourself. It is very good to touch our own body and to give ourselves that experience because um, when you activate those senses, you wake up those senses and it provides you healing. Touching your body is a very healing experience. It helps, you'll notice that your body is tense, like touch your shoulder and like, oh wow, you know? So you wanna touch yourself like lightly, intimately, or I'm sorry, that might sound weird to any of you listening. <laughs> But the point is, it's, it's very good to create a very intimate, sensual experience with yourself. This is, you know, that romantic experience with yourself where you're thinking about love and you're thinking about how much you appreciate yourself and your own body. Yeah, so that energy, it's like, clearly many of you have someone on your mind as well. Um, but of course, it's about having yourself on your mind and that you you deserve that feeling that you felt from that person. So understand that that is you that you're giving that love to. And you also feel that person's energy as well for those of you who are thinking about somebody. But again, it's very important that you're developing a relationship with yourself in this alone time is what I'm trying to get at. This energy brings you balance. Wow speak of like two different energies coming together from that kind of experience that makes a lot of sense there's like this is creating some sort of secret link to you and and another individual that you could come together with for those of you taking this as like a love reading for any of you yeah this is basically everybody i feel but you know it doesn't have to resonate that way this could be the masculine and feminine energy within you definitely it is but i just mean that if that is the case, and you're also interested in coming together with someone in the physical world, then of course you deserve that to manifest as well on your journey, and that seems to be happening for you. When you're in this vibration of being in love with yourself, and treating yourself well, and taking care of your body, and that is going to mean having a more intimate um, experience with your own body. The end of the week, your energy we get the high priestess. This is this says psychic power, shadow, obscurity, and manipulation. So the end of the week, you are very high in your intuition. You have a strong psychic knowing, and you're starting to do more energetic work. You're learning how to manipulate the inner the energy within your own body. So then you can heal yourself, you can heal your body, and you can heal any blockages um, or insecurities and things like that. And this is also going to help you with your situation. Um, at the same time, the energy you're going to be in is that you know that you don't know what's in the future. You don't know how everything is going to happen, but you trust and you feel that there's a, that there's a point to that, that it's supposed to be a surprise for a very positive, loving reason. That's the energy you're in at the end of the week. What that brings you, mm -hmm, it does bring you the shadows. It brings you a lot of 
yeah, the shadow, um, darkness to work with, your fears. This helps you analyze your fears. Um, it's like when you're afraid, it's like suddenly clouds come outside and it's raining. But then when you're not afraid, suddenly it's sunny outside. It's like you control the weather type of thing, you know? So it's like you're going to notice your fears have a correlation to your knowingness of what's in store for you on your journey. So the more you release those fears, the more this cloudy energy becomes parted and becomes clear. So that's what's coming your way, a release of your fears at the end of the week and throughout the, the future of July. So yeah, let's get a clarifier on that with the darkest fears. Four pen yeah, opening up about them, owning up to what they are, not hiding them. They're like brought to light. This is not, a, this isn't like, oh, you're manifesting your fears. This is like, you've been trying to keep to yourself what your fears are for long enough and it's time you can see it now you're like it's time that I just open up about them and be honest about what they are about my individual fears yeah so it's a very positive week I hope you guys felt that energy um, and the high priestess even though it's a spooky card in this deck the high priestess is a very positive card it's the card of intuition it is the card of like knowing that there will be a time for you to take action but also knowing that now might not be the time. So at the end of the week, you might be in a more contemplative mode. So yeah, this is for the horoscope sign of Cancer. Ooh, yeah. So I hope that resonates with you guys. Lots of love and light, everybody. Peace out. Oh, and shout out to my friend, Cheyenne. Her, she just had her birthday on the 30th. So happy birthday, Cheyenne, if you're listening to this. And I'll see you possibly Tuesday or a different day if we if we make different plans. All right, peace out, everybody. All right, reading number five. So this is the top row is the energy coming in, or, or sorry, no, your energy, and then the bottom row is the energy that comes in because of that. So your energy at the beginning of the week is the sun. Wow, you're very positive. Intensity, passion, and fearless initiative. You are charging forward with positive energy, with confidence, and with high self-esteem. Your passion, you know, your, your pursuing your passions you're not feeling stuck at this time you're feeling motivated and if any of you are having if you're doing that but there's still hard times it's like keep it up the song keep your head up just came up just now so it's like keep your head up you got this don't give up persevere push through take that initiative whatever it is you can do it take care of yourself all right and the energy that comes in with that, wow, it's four of wands, joy and stability. So not much else to say about that. Taking initiative balances your life. It creates this strong foundation for your, for your passions so that you won't lose your fire. Oh, that makes so much sense why it's hard for me to keep mine because I'm a water sign. So my water sign energy constantly puts out my passions because <laughs> I have so much water. Anyways, yeah, keep it up. Um, the middle of the week, your energy, we get Pluto. That's so funny. I was thinking of this card because, um, there's another card in this deck of this, like, lady with, like, white hair and, like, big dreamy Pisces eyes and there's, like, two fish. And I always see that card as, like, the Pluto Pisces. And since I was relating, I was like, oh, yeah, Pisces. And then I was thinking about Pluto because of that card. So yeah, and this says finality and distance and separation. So you're in an energy of like, you are done with not moving forward. You're done feeling stuck and stagnant. You're like, I know what energy needed to go in order for me to per persevere and push forward and feel like I am can, like I, I can fuel myself with fire and motivation. So yeah, you've, you've done it. 
So if anything, it was like recent past that you guys are struggling with that energy. Some of you listening at the beginning of the week, it's still a little bit tough, but you can already see the shifting. Probably by the new moon, July 2nd, already you're gonna just feel this spark of inspiration just charging forward. And I'm seeing by the middle of the week, you're still keeping that up. So this brings you, wow, another four. Number four, the Emperor's energy, which is interesting because the Emperor's energy is also um, like the sun's energy, Leo, especially in this deck that I'm using, the Cosmos Tarot. The Emperor, I think, is Leo in this deck, but I don't remember 100% right now. But, so yeah, more fire energy pretty much, more forward, masculine, taking action type of energy, and it's very stable. So you're bringing in a lot of stability, you're bringing in a lot of results, physically and spiritually. And you're providing a lot of insight and giving a lot of love and support to everyone. Nice. To everyone who you, who you feel, you know, in alignment with, that you feel positive about. I feel like there are also certain people and connections and situations where you're like, Nope, I'm done with that situation. Yeah. You knew you were being treated 